Council. He's going to evaluate the manual just the way Toastmasters traditionally do, using the guidelines in the manual. Then he will call upon his three assistant evaluators, one of which will be discussing the only the content of the speech, and then one will discuss just the verbal, and one will discuss just the visual. And we'll repeat that with uh, Tom. So Dale, Dale, if you'd come up, please. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most of all, Lloyd. That was a great speech. It was funny. And being that you're going to enter that into the humor speech contest, that's very good. <laughs> now, Lloyd, as I said earlier, has me evaluating from the humor speech contest, a ju judges, guide, and ballot. So first I will talk about, real briefly, the, the content, it was very well, very well done. The speech de development was very well done, especially after you told me that this is the first time you ever did it out loud. I, I was kind of amazed with that. that, that was very well done. The e effectiveness was good. It held the audience's attention. As a matter of fact, I n n noticed that the audience, in several occasions, were laughing out loud. Not just a little chuckle, but they were actually laughing out loud. <coughs> the uh, appropriateness, uh, the the. The songs that you chose, especially Louie Louie, unfortunately, is from our generation for the most <laughs> part. Right, Dan? Yes. <laughs> and the language was appropriate, and the correctness of the, the language ensured that everybody's attention was on you. And that's pretty much all I have. The only constructive cri cri criticism is on the physical part, which wasn't really your fault, Lloyd. I think that if you were able to move around more, but because you were restricted restricted with this cord you weren't you weren't able to and especially to even draw in the audience more if you could come up to people and, and look them right in the eye and and your eye contact was very well done and with that my first Evaluator, I'd like to call up Deborah with our visual. Thank you. Well, Lloyd, I, as always, you put on a great speech. My piece was to look at the visual thing, and, and Dale did touch a little bit on that. You are restricted by this microphone, and one suggested maybe, and I got here and was busy, so I didn't see if you got to practice with the microphone at all or not being attached to a wire. It can be limiting, but I would recommend that in the future if we use this, continue to use this system, that you practice a little bit so that you can figure out just where you can move about in the room in order to be m more able to use the full stage that you have here. Visually, his gestures were spot on when he was talking about that earworm digging into your head. How many have that song going in your head now, Louie Louie? I appreciate you doing the Louie Louie because it took the Mr. Ed theme song out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you can see or feel in your mind visually <coughs> the frustration and the animosity, indeed the anger, rising in the people at Disneyland, stuck in the boat at the small, small world. I think you have a great ability to take those everyday things and bring them into life with simple gestures that you use. 
good presence. I like that you keep your hands up. They're not flopping around over here uselessly doing anything. You have control of your arms, of what you're doing. You didn't need any visual <coughs> aids because your verbal, and I'm, don't, I'm not taking away from verbal of evaluating here, but just what you planted in our minds visually was a great picture that we could take with us that we didn't need things put up on the wall to show what you were talking about. Thank you for sharing with us. Our next evaluator will be John. He will be evaluating the content. Hey Dale. Content. Some of the great things I thought of were Freddie Mercury and We Will, We Will Rock You. And it's a small world. Both those are things that will stick into your mind easily. I guess the It's a Small World is something that, that some ice cream vendors have played in the past. And, and I can't imagine vending ice cream and listening to that tune <laughs> for hours and hours. Not just 45 minutes, but hours and hours and hours. You did a nice job of singing. And I appreciate that. That way we really got into those tunes deeply. Earworm. When you first talked about that, I thought, earworm? How is that different from earwig? <laughs> <laughs> Are we supposed to be frightened of earworms? Well, what, the thing that I found outstanding about your speech is replacing one mind-boring song with another mind-boring song. So now we have different ones, and we have the competition in our brain as to which one we're going to think about, even if we don't think about the tune to Mr. Ed. One of the things I'd have liked to see you talk about is the more of the trip back from Disneyland, how you got a carload of people to remove that small world and to find something else to put in their little brain to to provide that tune. So I'd like a little more of that because I can imagine a thousand mile drive <laughs> with a <laughs> small world boring into the mind. <laughs> Mr. Toastman, <coughs> Mr. Evaluator. And our next evaluator will be evaluating verbal. Everybody welcome Louise Ackley. <laughs> I had the pleasure of closing my eyes and listening to Lloyd as if it was coming over on the radio. So I didn't actually see any of his gestures. I didn't see anything, but I listened very hard. And Lloyd, your, your vocal variety was reasonable. Your pacing was reasonable. You were very easy to understand. Vocal variety could be just a little bit more enthusiastic. You have a very droll manner. But Johnny Carson made a fortune with that droll manner. And my suggestion to you is to put a little bit more space in between your phrasing and at the end of each sentence so that we can really get the punch of your dry wit. I felt that that was a little bit hurried and I wanted to laugh a little bit more and really enjoy it, but you were on to the next sentence. And I thought, ah, you could have milked that a little bit more. And if you're going to be doing a humorous speech, you'll have them rolling in the aisles with just a little more space. Thank you. To sum it all up, Lloyd, I am glad that I am not able to enter the humorous speech contest this year. <laughs> I have been up against Lloyd several times in the past, and he's always come out on top. I don't know why. He's a good speaker, He's, and you're funny. Some of your speeches are really, really funny. And I look forward to hearing more of yours, not only at this level, but at the contest. With that, I'll turn it back over to our Toastmaster. Great job. I like these focused. I like Lloyd too. I've seen him at conferences and it's 